Hello everyone, myself Dr. T.V. Nagarazu. I am working as an associate professor in Department of IT, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. In this session, we are going to discuss about file input stream and file output stream. First of all, what is this file input stream and file output stream? The streams are divided into two types. One is byte stream. Second one is character stream. Yes or no? Generally, this byte stream is used for reading the binary data that is images, audio, video. Character stream is used for reading the text data. Okay. For reading purpose, the class we are using is input stream. For writing purpose, the class we are using is output stream. Now, this file input stream is a subclass of input stream which is used to read the data from a file. File output stream is a subclass of output stream. In this one, the output is produced to a file. You got it? So, here the input and the output both are related to file. Clear? Now, Coming to this one, the file input stream, simply it obtain the inputs from the file and read the byte oriented data. So, in remember, if you are reading the byte oriented data means, it can read the normal text also. But generally, it is not preferable. But for easy purpose, we are writing some text messages also. Now, this file input stream extends the input stream class. What are the different methods for read? Read method is there. The purpose is to read one byte of data from the input stream. If you want to read an array of bytes, we are moving to this one. After closing your operation, you need to close the file. So, this is the file input stream. Now, we are moving to the example. How do you read? A single character from a file. Okay. Now, what I am doing? First, in the D drive, I created one text document. Suppose any location. You can place any location. I created one text document. Within that, I written the message, Welcome to Java. Clear? Now, what is my aim? From that file, I am reading, first example, a single character. Now, import java.io.star why here the entire streams are available inside the io package class demo file stream demo file stream directly write the main public static void main Okay, within this one, first step is create an object for the class. What is the class? File input stream. File input stream. Some object is equal to new file input stream of. So, from which file you are reading the data, you need to assign the path. So, my file is available here. My file is available here. Okay. Now, here I written everything inside the try block. Now, after this, read a single character. Suppose int i is equal to f i n dot read of. I am reading a single character. Next, I am printing system dot out dot print ln. So, here in the text I given welcome. That is a character, but I am reading integer. Not a problem. Do type casting. R is taken I as the character. Simple thing. Whatever you want, you can do. Take an I as the character. After reading, close the file. Try block. Catch exception e
system dot out dot print ln e right catch closed main closed and then class is closed now save the file dot java open the command prompt java c space dot java java space now what is the first letter in my file welcome to java the first two letter is w you got it this is the way i am reading one character from the file so now what is my input stream file is my input stream in my second example i am reading all the characters from the file instead of reading a single character here i am reading all the characters from the file now what i am doing int i is equal to some zero i am repeating a loop while i is equal to f i n dot read of so read character by character if it is not equal to minus 1 means minus 1 specifies end of the file minus 1 specify end of the file okay save so you are getting question marks close there is not but yes oh here the mistake so by default it is incremented this is normal not a while loop by default once the character is read automatically it moves to the next one okay that is not a problem here i you are getting question mark maybe question mark is placed outside here i is equal to f i n dot read is not equal to minus 1 if it is not equal to minus 1 only then only it do the operation then only it do the operation java c space dot java now you are getting the output just a simple mistake minus is missed welcome to java clear this is the way to read a single character or a stream of characters from the file now what is the next one output stream that is how do we place the data information into the file so here the file output stream it is extended from the class output stream what are the methods write which is used for writing a single letter that means a single byte write of is used for writing a byte of memory here in my first example i am writing one simple byte i am writing one simple byte so here remove all this in the input dot text f instead of input here what you need to write output stream here also here in the same file i am going to write no problem f change the object even the object name is also not a constraint f out dot write of this is the thing f out dot write of whatever you want you can write suppose here i given some number to you here i given some number to you and at the same time 
आई रिटर्न वन मैसेज सर वाट इज द नीड ऑफ मैसेज वेदर इट इज सक्सेसफुल आर नॉट इनपुट स्ट्रीम इज दट इज डिस्प्ले आउटपुट इज नॉट डिस्प्ले इन द फाइल ओनली इट इज अपडेटेड सो इफ द प्रोग्राम इज एक्सिक्यूटेड सक्सेसफुली आर नॉट फॉर द चेकिंग पर्पज आई एम यूजिंग दट वन सॉरी हियर यू नीड टू क्लोज विच वन एफ आउट ओनली now successful now go to the particular file input.txt now what is there 65 is converted into letter a previously i have welcome to java but that is overrided you got it by this you are reading one byte of data remember not only one byte you can write multiple bytes of data also so by using this one so what i am doing here so here take some string string some s is equal to welcome now instead of directly writing what you need to get convert into bytes format convert into bytes format now here bytes of here what bytes of whatever the name you want you can give that is not a problem f out dot write of b simple mistake semicolon not a problem successful now open the file in the d drive input now message is changed to welcome you got it that means you can pass a continuous stream of data into the file also now at last you can apply both input stream and output stream that is read the data from the file and copy the information to another file copy the information to another file you know the procedure how do you read and how do you produce now i will directly copy that example same logic now observe here what i am doing one example first to file input stream is there you know how do you write file input stream now you know how do you write file output stream now this is the way to read the data byte by byte now only thing is instead of converted directly whatever the byte you are reading you are writing the data here close the two files here instead along with input you need to create one more file that is output.txt yes or no now save new text to document output now in the input observe i changed welcome to java program files this is the message i given in the input file now i am executing this program java c space file copied successfully for checking go to output what is output whatever i written inside the input exactly that is copied into the output now understand what happen simply read data by data once i read the data i place into the file i place into the file okay this is the way how to copy information from one file into another file clear that is the end of today session thank you